Welcome to AEDT 4120, Serious Gaming and Simulations. Cross-listed with INFR 4391, Special Topics in Game Development. This is the winter 2015 version of the course, and this is week one, video clip one of three, course introduction. I'm Professor Bill Kapralos, and over the next few minutes, I'll provide a brief overview of myself and the course. Let's begin with an overview of myself. I'm an associate professor in the Game Development and Entrepreneurship Program at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, or UOIT, where I've been teaching a variety of courses related to game development, including virtual reality and human-computer interaction, computer graphics, game sound, computer architecture, and serious gaming, amongst others since 2006. With respect to serious gaming and simulation, I have taught several courses on the topic at UOIT and elsewhere to undergraduate students, graduate students, and working professionals. I am also leading a wide variety of serious gaming related research projects, including those that are seeing the development of serious games for health professions education. For example, community health nursing, critical care nursing, cardiac surgery, plastic surgery, orthopedic surgery, amongst others. And I'm also investigating multimodal interactions and fidelity levels of realism within a virtual environment in an effort to develop more effective simulations and serious games that ultimately maximize learning. Now back to the course. Here's a description of the course in addition to the learning outcomes as they appear in the course outline. The purpose of the course is to examine the history and the current status of serious games and simulations for use in, ad in adult learning and professional development contexts. Organized around the collection of video clips, readings, interdisciplinary research projects, and games, this course will introduce students to the principles of game design and industrial design, the affordances of different game genres, for example, simulations, massive multiplayer online games, virtual worlds, and role-playing, educational theories used to support game-based learning, and methods for evaluating and assessing the effectiveness of serious games. Discussions, activities, and other resources will be used to support the problems that students are working on throughout the duration of the course to develop a critical stance and approach towards implementing game-based learning. This course offers students the unique opportunity to design their own serious game and examine all the potential issues and complexities involved in developing serious games and incorporating them within a teaching curriculum. Students who successfully complete this course will have reliably demonstrated the ability to 1. Understand a variety of classification of games as well as their educational affordances. Two, understand and discuss gaming and learning theories and provide rationales for their use in adult education. Three, develop critical approaches and stances towards the role and use of digital game-based learning. Four, understand and discuss the potential limitations, issues, and problems associated with game-based learning. Five, execute strategies for developing, using, and assessing serious games and simulations. And finally, six, understand and engage with new ideas and knowledge derived from interdisciplinary research projects on serious games. The course is being offered completely online. That is, there is no in-person meeting. The course will be articulated in 10 modules, each including one, one hour video clip based lectures broken down into three to four segments, each 12 to, 12 to 15 minutes in length. All videos will be available on YouTube as an unlisted link. Please consult Blackboard for a list of the links. And the videos should be viewed by the students prior to the tutorial. Two, one hour of synchronous group tutorial activities in Adobe Connect. The video conferencing sessions in Adobe Connect will be planned in detail by the instructor and the tutorial activities in the session will be run by the teaching assistant, Todd Blaywan, in addition to myself. And finally, three, one hour of individual and group online activities such as gameplay, writing, filming, and potentially posting to a group blog, final project work, amongst others, as specified in the course outline. The course is scheduled to begin Tuesday, January 6, 
2015. Although for some of you, your first tutorial session may not take place until Thursday, January 8th. Although the first video session will provide a brief overview of the course and will introduce the professor and the teaching assistant, all of the details regarding the course are available via the course out outline, which you can access under the course outline link available via Blackboard. I highly recommend that you do take a close look at the course outline, and if you are unsure about anything it states, talk to myself or your teaching assistant. And just a reminder that the course is being held entirely online, as previously mentioned. But I want to remind you that despite being an online course, there is plenty of work involved with the course. You will undoubtedly be kept busy with a series of readings, activities, and final project related deadlines. So please ensure that you keep up with all of the work and start with your activities, readings, and final course project as soon as possible. For those of you who are taking this course as a UOIT elective, you need to be aware that the course has been developed to follow a problem-based learning approach. And as a result, you will be learning about the topics through the experience of problem solving. If you would like to find out more about problem-based learning, resources are available via the Content Resources folder via Blackboard. The course does not include any tests or a final exam. Your grade will be based on a series of activities, a final course project, participation, and a self-reflection paper. The activities have been designed to provide you the opportunity to reflect and expand upon the material presented during the sessions. There are a total of six activities that are spread out throughout the entire course duration. The final project will bring together the ideas and concepts presented and discussed upon during the course, including the course activities, and will involve the detailed design and implementation of a serious game. You will be working in groups of four to five on the final project. The final project will consist of various milestones throughout the duration of the course, including choosing a topic, literature review, needs and task analysis, elevator pitch, a presentation, time permitting, and a final report. Late submissions will not be accepted and will result in a grade of zero unless you provide a valid reason. If there are circumstances that result in you not being able to meet a deadline, speak to me as soon as possible. Once again, details are available on Blackboard, but it is highly recommended that you begin working on the final project immediately by setting up your group and choosing a topic. I also strongly recommend that groups are interdisciplinary and contain at least one to two members with a gaming uh, background. Your participation grade will be based on your participation within the tutorial sessions and throughout the course in general. And finally, your self-reflection grade will be based on a report you complete at the end of the course that will outline your thoughts, perceptions, amongst others, on the course. Details regarding course requirements, including the activities and final course project, will be available via Blackboard. Keep in mind that the Blackboard site is an indispensable portion of your course. You should consult it regularly and use the links there as part of your research tool collection. All course requirements, handouts, marking rubrics, assessment, related materials, and any announcements will be made available via the Blackboard site. This is the end of this video clip. Thank you.